Welcome to Still Plays Galaxy of Heroes. This is Grand Arena, final match of week one. We are currently undefeated. We should have another victory here. My opponent forgot to set one team. So he's got a massive disadvantage. It's going to take me messing up multiple times in order for that to be an issue. So we're going to jump in. There's only two teams here on the Southern Territory. We're just going to jump in, clear them out real quick and see what's on that back wall and see how careful we need to be. There's this Django team with a relic. Relic Django is great, so we, we can't be too reckless there. And then we've got a Geo team that we can just take Trey against. This Bosk team isn't going to be too much of an issue. GTR can still crush that. And this uh, Night Sister team. Uh, we might take Revan there just to be certain Jedi Revan. Um, but that's not too much to be a concern with. The f this, his first order teams would be stronger if he didn't split them into two. That Kylo run on mask one's not going to be an issue. If he would have kept Hux, even uh, OG Kylo, that could be a little tougher. But we're going to jump in here now. I think we're just going to take CLS against Django. Where's my 3v3 teams? And stun Django right off with Han and then Greedo and IG-88 will just be able to crush and by the time uh, Django gets out of the stun we'll have a, we should have an advantage. We're gonna go actually we'll we'll go after Greedo, he's got more turn meter. We'll stun IG-88. Let's see if this fruit, this hit here, assist from Chewbacca. Not quite enough, but this AOE will finish IG-88 off. Lost two banners because of that hit. Alright, this Hux team though, this is what's, I don't want to take too little against it, but I also don't want to take too much against it. Maybe we just do Vader. I don't think we need Thrawn. Let's see, what's my Empire choices? Could bring in Stormtrooper for a tank. I'm thinking we bring in Wampa. That way we have dot synergy, we have a tank to take a little bit of damage off. You know what? We're gonna bring in Shore Trooper. Throw that daze down. Use the new Merciless Massacre. See so if we can get an ability block. No.
We're just going to throw it on ability blocks. We're going to wait to use the big hit. Whoa. What? What? He doesn't even have the Zeta. What does this leadership do? So 54, 50% more damage on basics. I feel like that's that much that makes that much of a difference. That's ridiculous. I mean I had a gear nine wampa. Short trooper didn't do anything. We're gonna clean this up here with Sidious, Savage, and Sith Assassin. Sidious can make sure we get the health immunity. Savage will take him out with less than 50, and Sith Assassin gives a little bit of turn meter. As long as Kylo doesn't heal up too much. I still want that Savage Zeta. I know it doesn't do anything anymore, but when I started playing the game is when the Savage Zeta was good and it's just, it's like burned into my DNA of like how I feel about that Zeta. All right. We can nest one of these teams. The second Ewok team is whatever. We can take anything up against. This Newt team is, I mean, without relics isn't an issue, but they're not awful. This Thrawn team is, the t is only tough because of the relics, but isn't tough enough. All right, we got tons of choices. We're going to start on the top territory. Gonna tray this. I need to finish gearing up that wampa. I'm irritated that that lo that I lost that. Also wonder how that Kylo was modded. So we get more debuffs on the field. Let's make sure we isolate the right one. That's better. But 
hitting the one with pain. We're, st we're still going to use Rev in here. Hit, we've triggered it twice. Let's see if you can bring a little bit of protection back. Come on. Lost a banner. This is just an easy JTR. This is one of the reasons why even though Hound's Tooth is great. I haven't uh, uh, gone for the Relic Bosk. I don't think it's enough of a difference. And as long as you have both Malevolence and Negotiator, you can kind of go back and forth and pick your battles, and I can still get first in fleets. Come on. We're doing this just because I want the assist from C-3PO. But I should be going after boss.
spread the translation, not the translation, the whatever it's called. This is going to take forever. Very irritated. Finish him. All right. Sloppy battles. All right, we got Kylo. You know, he's costing me fifty banners by not having not set that team. Take a nest up here. Cure is not necessary, but I want it to be a little faster. Get the damage output higher. I didn't bring nest against the other one because Tebow can mess up nest. I've been timed out with Tebow before when he's in the leadership. Because when they're under stealth, Ness can't counter. It's a very sneaky way to get your opponent to mess up on defense. Because you go in cocky thinking, oh, it's easy banners, and then Ness, uh, Ness can't do her thing. We're just going to crush this with gas. Oh, I should have not even brought in Ahsoka. Whatever. this
Is the finalizer? Why aren't you letting me click on this? All right, we're going for the other territory because we can't click on that one. All right, we got Newts, we got Ewoks. We still got Malik, we got Fives. We're just gonna do a Malik solo, I think. No, that's that could be that could be dumb. That could be very dumb. All right. With the stuns, with the shock, that could easily mess up Malik. Maybe if mine was relic. We are instead. gonna overpower it with some clones. Take out Dooku. Dooku's more annoying in this matchup. This will be Malik. There's the wicked Zeta. Is that how he's getting protection back? Come on. This is slow and boring. I really just need to finish putting the relics on on Malik. This would be much faster. 
if he wasn't gear 12. I think he's two pieces away. He's a finisher and one other annoying piece away. He saved, he has both Negotiator and Malevolence, I'm pretty sure. He has saved them both for offense, just in case. And we are going to just take him out. I don't know what his gear level is. I guess it's all, what, Hux was gear 12. Both the Kylos were gear 12. So it's not a, a great, but it's not a bad finalizer team. But it's also an, really an offensive only ship, so it doesn't really matter either way. this guy off. Alright, that's a win. Over 50 banners short from him not having that team. No feats, right? Yeah, no feats. Okay. But he can't make up those lost points from not having set his full defense. So that is a definite win. Thank you all for watching. This has been Still Plays Galaxy of Heroes. Be safe out there, everyone, and be excellent to each other.